All right, guys, this is how you assemble the um, backplate sensor, the x uh, backplate sensor. As you can see, the um, plates are, they come, they come with two plates. One of them is a, the large one is for the like 105, 120s um, engines. And the small one is for the 50s class, okay? So uh, first, the, you can see that there is two information uh, written on the plates. It's uh, it says here where the block. This one is a block, right? And this block goes like that, right? And it says place the block here. So that's where you put the block, you know, on the one here. And then it says here on the plate. It says um, this side goes to the outside, and in this case. Um, I'm sorry, this one is the 120 and 105. So in that case, the block goes towards the engine. Okay. So uh, because of that, here you have the sensor. Okay, this is a sensor. And the sensor well, obviously has a magnet, strong magnet, right? And because of the orientation of this, you have to put it so that the the um, block is going to be facing the engine. So this is the way you want to assemble it. Okay. So you can go like this. Okay, and that's how you want to install it. Okay. This is the so you have the facing the engine this side. In the case of the fifty, you install it this way with this block installed on the outside of that. Okay. So the first one is the 105, so let's do that, okay? So this, you have to put the, the screws into the block, okay? And then you place, in this case, this is going to come out. So first, let me get the, the wrench, Allen wrench here. And this is how you do it, okay? Oops, it's... Uh, this happens a lot. <laughs> Put it here like that, okay? And then I take the block and put it there. There you go. Now you take this here, okay? And you uh, screw this in place. And you cannot put that before and then place the thing inside. It just doesn't work like that, okay? So, um, okay, and then don't tighten it too much right now, right? Just do it like that. And then you go to the, hold on, let me get this off a little bit more. Okay, so now you move it and make it align, the lower holes align with the, make it align with that, okay? without those holes. So, okay, like that. Okay, this is the correct side. Okay. So there you go, that's one and the other one now. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to tighten this one. Okay. By the way, use blue Loctite on those on those um, nuts. I'm not doing that because right now because I'm I'm uh, I'm doing this video for you guys. I'm going to take it off and put the the the, the block on the other side. So as you can see, this is the depth, the depth that you need for the for the uh, uh, 105 and 120 um, back plates, okay? Now when you go, uh, hold on, another thing that you need to do is, what I forgot, this one has sort of sliding holes, okay? So I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. Okay, so as you can see, this can go a little bit shallower or you can make it, let me, okay, so,
So um, now, as you can see, notice how there is play here, like this, as the sh the shallow. So this one is coming that way or forward. This much, which is the deeper one. Okay. So you want to do is you want to make it as close as possible to the bottom of the plate. Okay. So got it now where it's supposed to go. Tighten it. Okay. This one okay. Alrighty. And then now tighten this one. Okay. So that's exactly the way it goes. Uh for the 105 and all those. Okay. Now let's do the one for the 50 size, 50 glass, okay? The 50 glass, like I said, the block, instead of going on this side, it goes on the other side here, and it goes on the top holes. Okay, for the 50 size, the 50 size, you can install the here again, this is the the uh, diagram there, so you can put the um, the block, okay, and it tells you to see that it has the directions of those knots, so you want to put it exactly the way it shows you on the diagram. So you go here, want to do this. Don't forget to use blue Loctite in these things, okay? And we kind of uh, adjust it to make it um, flat there, okay? Okay, so once you have it there, you come in here, okay? And present it like this to make sure that the alignment is correct. Pull it out again. It's a tight fit, okay, and that's when you tighten this one. Okay, and this one is tight now. Don't forget the blue look tight. Why? Because once you have it inside, there's no way to reach this uh, head, the head of the, of the screw. So you want to go do this, okay, again, like that. And now you align the holes with the top holes, okay? See where they are? The top ones. Okay, and uh, so we put the screws in there. Okay, and you tighten them now. Don't forget that the other screw needs to be tight before installing these ones because you don't have access, see? You're not gonna have access to the screw with a wrench. Even the ones that have uh, round tips, look at that. It's not going to let you go in there and tighten it. So this one has to be tight when you do that. And then um, blue lock tight, don't forget, and tighten this. You don't need to tighten it too hard, you know, because remember, this is a plastic, uh, and most of the actual force is, is handled by this um, slot here that makes it uh, tight. Anyway, obviously, this doesn't have a, a, a cable because I didn't want to have the cable in the video because it's going to bother in the middle for the clarity of the video. So now you have the sensor assembled for a 50 size 50 glass um, plate. As you can see, this one now, this distance is shorter, okay? For that, because we're using the top, the, the block on the top side. And again, the same thing like before, you can adjust, you know, this is elongated holes this too, so you can slightly adjust this. So you can uh, adjust it in between the OS and the YS engines, okay? So that's how you assemble the the um, X card backplate sensor. 
So I hope you guys um, like it and don't forget to subscribe and hit the subscribe button and the notification. So whenever we have any updates or something like that, you know, you get notification and you can see the video of what uh, we just um, uploaded. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.